Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a bait for rock hard, yellow belly, cat face immaterial. The principle style stays the same. What we require, chock a hammer, some 20 kilo nylon, which is going to be your sinker snooting. Some 080, which is basically 31 kilo uh, kingfisher nylon. The reason we do that is rock cod live in and around rocks and they always normally found in a cave situation. And in the caves, if you have a look when you're diving, you'll find oysters, mussels, stuff like that that cut you off. So you need a very thick hook snoot. We're also going to be using quite a big hook, nano sui. Um, a little bit of flotation for the chocker bait, either a teardrop or a grapnel sinker. It's up to you depending on where you're actually throwing. If you're throwing where there's a lot of rocks and there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of current, definitely a teardrop. It comes out of the holes a lot quicker. If there is again big current, big surf, a lot of white water. I prefer to use the standard weed eater grapnel. Um, power swivel combo. Uh, we don't need a running trace for a rock rod. He's got a huge mouth, he inhales the bait. So four to five, and you don't have to worry too much about the, the um, keeping your swivel or your terminal tackle hidden from the rock rod. He's a very aggressive feeder, he's not shy. So a bigger, stronger swivel is what I would suggest required for this kind of a trace. Okay, start off with, let's take all of this stuff off here. A nano hook. Let's grab some nylon for our snooting. Okay, you're gonna make it about 40 centimeters to 50 centimeters in length. You want quite a bit of movement. Making a figure of eight to our hook. One, two, three times. <coughs> Basically, just pull that very tight. Cut off the tag end. That's about the length I want. Okay, when using the power combo swivel, I keep on getting asked by customers, you'll find that you've got a very big head on the top, small head at the bottom, and one that actually comes off. Your leader line needs to go to the big one, the top of the eye. Your hook trace needs to go to the bottom, so you're pulling in a straight line. Your sinker trace would be the one that comes off of it. Okay, so basically, Hook into the, uh, the nylon into the small R. Do a figure of eight. And because we're using a chocker bait, we want a little bit of movement. So I'm going to put on foam onto it. So let's just pull this tight. Got off the tag in here. Grab some cotton. Where's my lovely knife? And the way I like to do it is I like to use a lot of the head and the guts. So I'm going to open this up. Take that sheathing part off, which we don't require. <clears throat> and if you lay it down, you'll actually see if you take your hands, there's the ink sack with the little red bit of uh, I don't know, it must be the gut spot. And I actually just take my hands and pull it off. And you'll always find that part comes off and that part will be one piece on its own. So what I want to do is just grab some of that foam quickly. It is there. And I like to use white foam because I'm making a white bait, not red foam or blue foam. I just want to cut a decent piece. There we go. Just to give a bit of body, a little bit more movement on it. 
and I put the foam quite far back. There we go. Take out our latex cotton. Tying it off. Okay. There we go. Take our chocker and of course we're going to put it, that's been the inside of it, that is the skin side. Turn it that the skin side is up. You want to break it down a bit because it's very very tough. But before I do that, I like to cut off two long strips. So there's basically one, two long strips. And we just cut this down ever so slightly. There we go. So that piece in the top part, just cutting that off. Take our chocker hammer and I'm going to hit it. Just soften it up a bit. You can, of course, use your knife if you want to. That chocker hammer. And all I'm doing is actually softening the sides of it. What that does with the softer sides, when I roll it over the actual bait, you'll find that that part there is very soft, very supple. It's also allowing a lot of that actual smell and juice of the oils out of the actual chocker. The two tentacles that I'm taking, I'm just going to lightly beat them. Second one. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to take the knife and cut two big grooves into it so you can see it's a nice big V. Nice and long. Do exactly the same with this side as well. Just to give a lot more movement in the water to attract the, uh, the little fish. It's a lot more movement. It just makes it more enticing for the rock cut. Take the second one, lay him on top. Okay, now what we do is you got your two eyes, which I'm gonna keep for last. I'm gonna cut them open straight down the center like that. So basically you've got two eyes on either side, a soft piece of chocker, oh sorry I forgot about the stomach part, haha, <laughs> very important I put that in. That's got a lot of smell and oils in it, goes on top and we're going to try and form it as we're doing it. So we're going to squeeze it in and use our chocker there. And we build this bait quite far back on the actual hook so that it allows the hook point to be nice and proud. Just do that. Just form it up a bit. There we go, it's forming nicely. And of course, as it starts defrosting, all these little um, oil sacs and little oil pieces coming off here start dissipating into the water. Okay, there we go. We're now taking it, wrapping it around. Over as best as we can. This little bit here that's sticking out that's just too big, we'll just cut off. There we go. 
these are bars, we just lightly soften up the tentacles. It stops them from being very rigid in the water. Soften it up a bit, soften it up a bit. First eye. Second eye. And there we go. A lovely rock hard bait that you can throw almost anywhere for a rock hard it's got a lot of juice a lot of smell a lot of flavor to it it's got a very nice eye so it's very visual it's got these lovely tentacles that the black tail and the small little gray grunter can feed on and yeah all that little commotion from the small fish definitely attract the bigger fish and if there's a rock hard in the area he will come and investigate and if you dive with him, you'll actually see what happens is he comes in and he chases all the small fish away. So you'll be sitting there and you're getting little bites the whole time. Pa, 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 pa. And all of a sudden the bite just disappears. It's that rock hard chasing all the smaller fish away. And he'll come in and he just, oops. And all you feel is just lift, down, or you just get slack line. So be prepared when you don't feel any bites that there is something there and he's going to eat it almost instantly. So just sit there. No bite, just go, yeah, here we go, game on, and wait for either slack line or the pull down. And there we go, guys, there's a brilliant bait for catching your rock cod.